This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Little Bit Fit with me, Karen Ross. So today you are going to need two chairs. Yes, two chairs. And you're going to need your weights or your soup cans. And as always, you are going to need your water. But before we get into our workout, let's talk about fit tips. So the fit tip today is eating well. And a lot of people try to make it way more complicated than it really needs to be. They get sucked into the fad diets and all of that stuff. Your body needs nutrients. It needs nutrients. So cutting out anything is not a good thing to do. So when you are uh, choosing your food, look for nutrient dense food. I have this discussion with people all the time. They're like, well, I had a salad and I said, what was your salad made of? Iceberg lettuce and some carrots and whatnot. And I said, you realize that there's no nutrient value in iceberg lettuce, but there's no calories. And I said, you need calories. It's good calories that you need. So learn how to purchase your food with nutrient dense mindset. Uh, it doesn't matter how many calories are in it. It's the nutrient quality of the food you're eating. Make sure that you're eating locally sourced things as much as possible. Eat well. Half of your plate should be uh, fruit and vegetables, then meat source, uh, protein source, and then a little bit of good carbs, complex carbs, not simple carbs. Enjoy your food. Uh, pay attention when you're eating. Find out what your food triggers are. Um, cook more often and eat meals that you know you're going to enjoy and learn how to read food labels. There's a lot of really good information in those food labels. And beware of food marketing, okay? Internet and whatnot, not always the best source of good food. So we're going to grab our stuff and I'm going to see you right here in two seconds. Okay, let's get the heart pumping and breathe. So start with that little sway, just to get everything moving. Have fun with the music. Slow heel taps. Half time. your arms. Open and close. Tap to the side. Just get everything moving. Remember, don't move to pain. And make sure you can breathe. Let's take full time dancing in the chair. Full tempo heel taps. Change your arm. Out to the side and roll. This is disco. points. Point to the front. Tap to the front. And back to the chair dancing. 
move your torso. Back to work. Breathe. Change those arms. Reach it. Reach across the body as much as you can. Okay, reaching to the front or reach up to you. Two arms. Stay reaching to the front or reach it up. Back to single arm. Breathe. Opposite. To the front. Stay reaching to the front or reach up if you choose. up the pace a little bit here. Find our rhythm, find our beat. Here we go. Tap, tap. A little quicker. Open and close. Back to the front. To the side. Make it a little more difficult in the arms if you choose. Reach to the front. Stay reaching to the front or reach up, whatever works for your shoulders. Breathe. Reach to the front. Stay to the front or reach it up, whatever you like. Just breathe. Still tap. Change the arms. That's it, you got this. Change your arms. Roll it. Roll toward the body. Roll it away. Reverse, roll to the body. Tap. Change your arms. Heel, toe, heel, switch. Heel, toe, heel, switch. Breathe.
heel toe, heel switch. And back to that sway. We're gonna start bringing everything down. Let your heart rate come down. Let your breathing start to normalize and just sway. Half tempo. Breathe and bringing it all the way down. Nice work, everybody. We're going to grab a drink of water. Make sure you've got your weights or your soup cans and your extra chair. And I will see you back here in two seconds. Okay, you've got your stuff ready. Now it's time to do a little bit of strength training. We are gonna start with some lower body. So we're gonna scoot to the edge of our chair. Bring your feet forward with you. These I like to call foot scoops, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to scoop and bring it back. Try not to touch the floor. So you're just gonna scoop and bring it back. Touch if you need to, scoop and bring it back, scoop, scoop. Keep your spine nice and tall, pull your tummy in tight. Scoop whatever it is you're scooping off the floor, scoop, scoop. So we're working our hip joint, we're working our quad and our hamstring, and we are working those abdominal muscles. Three, two, one, and what do we do? We recover. We recover. Get rid of that tension that you just built up in those muscles. And grab a sip of water. You need to stay hydrated for muscle health, joint health, brain health. Stay hydrated. All right. Going to the other side. Up tall. Hang on under your chair if you need to. And here we go. We're going to scoop. Scoop, scoop, nice and tall. Try not to lean back. If you need to touch down between each scoop, you do what you need to do to be successful. Everybody can be successful if you try. Scoop, scoop, three, two, one. And what do we do? We shake it out. Good job. Good job. A little bit of side to side. Whatever your body's asking for, it will tell you what it needs, when it needs it. But we just need to listen. Ah, okay. We're going to do some pushaways. And instead of grabbing the money and pulling it in, something yucky, we're going to push it away. Okay. So come to the edge of your chair. Hang on under the edge of your chair if you choose. And we're going to push it, pick up your foot and bring it back, push it away, pick up your foot and bring it back, push it away, pick it up and bring it back, push it away. Good job. You're feeling the outside of your leg, the outside of your hip. Breathe, sitting up nice and tall, nice and tall. Breathe. Push it away, pick it up, push it away, pick it up, bring it back. Three, two, one, and shake it out, shake it out. Always shake out that tension. Take a few seconds. Usually I take about 30 seconds in between movements when I'm doing my own workouts. So a little bit of recovery goes a long way and it sets you up for success with the rest of your exercises. <sighs> Big breath in, ready to do the other side. Always reset the body before you start on the other side. So I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna push it away, pick it up, bring it back, push it away push it away. Good job. Push it away. Using the outside muscles of the hip and the outside of that leg to push your foot away. Push it away. A little bit of tension there. Push it away. Push. Push. Three more. 
three, two, last one. Push it away, bring it back and shake it out. Grab a sip of water. Okay, this is where we need our second chair, okay? And we're gonna need it for our stretches too. I have this because it doesn't have a back on it. So you're going to bring it to your second chair in front of you. We're gonna do push-ups, believe it or not. You think you can't do push-ups? Yes, you can. You don't need to get down on the floor to do a push-up. We can do a push-up with a second chair. So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna make sure I'm on my chair, but I wanna to come to the front of my chair a little bit. I'm gonna put my hands on the seat of my second chair, and I'm going to do a push-up. You're using your upper body as resistance. So you're hinging from the bottom of your spine and you're doing a push up. So every time you do this, you're pushing up the weight of your upper body. Look down at your chair. You want to keep the back of your neck space open. You, my friends, are doing push ups. So there you have it. We're going to do a few more. Three, two, one, and back up and let your arms swing. So there you have it. You can also do push-ups on your wall. You don't have to be on the ground to do an effective push-ups. Push-ups work the upper body strength, and that's really important to maintain. And uh, as we get older, we lose our upper body strength. So we're going to put that over there, and we are going to do uh, compound movements. So soup cans or weights, whatever you choose. So we're going to do a bicep curl. It looks like this. We do a bicep curl. We turn our palms to the camera. We pulse and we stop, we turn, and we bring it back down. Let's do that together. So curl, turn, pulse, stop, turn, and bring that back down. Curl, turn, pulse, stop, turn, Bring it down, curl, turn, pulse, stop, turn, bring it back down and recover. Nicely done, nicely done. Good job, hard work, hard work pays off over time. And remember, you start slow and steady and you build from there. You start where you are and you grow from there. So we're gonna put our weights down, we're gonna hydrate, and I'm gonna see you back here in two minutes for our stretch. Okay, so we've done our cardio, we've done our strength training, and now we need to do our flexibility training for joint health, muscle health, range of motion, and the ability to complete tasks of everyday living. Remember that. We're going to start with a four, forward fold. So shift back on your chair. You're going to open your feet. And we're going to head toward the floor, but very, very slowly. We want to release the mid and the lower back, which can be a real problem area. So we're going to start by just rounding our spine to the back of our chair. Breathe. If you need to glance up every now and again to see what I'm doing, please do, but then look back down at the floor. You're gonna bring your forearms to the tops of your legs. Look down at the floor. Breathe. If you have vertigo or dizziness, please be very aware of how you are feeling. And if you don't feel right, come back up, but come back up slowly. Put your hands 
on your shins just below your knees and you're going to slide down to your ankles. Have a little wiggle and make sure that your body is fitting in between your knees. Looking down at the floor, this is where your lower back and mid back start to release. Look down at the floor. Stay here if you choose or you can let go of your ankles and dangle your arms in between your feet and let gravity pull your torso toward the floor increasing that release in your mid lower back please remind yourself to breathe here yes you're all crunched up but breathe breathe Put your hands back on your ankles and lift your head a little bit. As we come back up, we're bringing our head above our heart again, so we need to breathe to make sure that the oxygen gets back up to the brain. Breathe. Forearms coming to your thighs and you're gonna lift your head a little bit more. Big breath in. Keep looking down at the floor. Breathe here. Put your hands above your knees and you're gonna roll into that round spine. So keep your chin tucked to your chest. Allow your arms to relax into your lap. And then we come all the way back up to tall. Big breath in, nicely done. That's a tough one, that is a tough one. All right. We're going to wiggle walk the feet together, reaching up left or right, doesn't matter. And you're going to touch the back of your neck. This is one of the range of motions that tends to leave us. So just touching the back of your neck and staying here for a little bit helps increase the motion around that tight, tight shoulder. Breathe. Sitting up nice and tall and release. When you do the other side, reach it up, touch the back of your neck and sit up nice and tall. release the back of our shoulders, reach across, this hand comes to the opposite shoulder, we're going to push our fingers off of this shoulder by pushing our elbow toward that shoulder, so I'm feeling a nice big stretch in the back of this shoulder, so push your elbow, let the back of that crossed over arm stretch out, breathe. And we're going to release, we're going to do the other side, opposite shoulder, push your fingers off of that shoulder by pushing your elbow toward your fingers. Breathe. And release. This is where we need our second chair again. This is called a figure four and this is for sciatic nerve health. It's a difficult stretch to get in and out of. That's why we're gonna modify it. I'm gonna to come to the front of my chair. I'm gonna lean back in my chair and I'm gonna put my leg up just like so. I'm gonna stay here. I want to release to the inside of the leg and around my hip. After that feels okay, then I'm gonna sit up tall and you're actually gonna feel more of a stretch outside of the hip, inside of the leg. So try, if this is far enough, then you stay here. If you're able to sit up tall and that's enough, you stay there. If you choose to go into a full figure four, straighten your spine, hang on under your chair and you push your chest forward. Breathe. You choose which version works for you. Don't let anything hurt. and come back up to tall, lean it all the way back. Take that leg down. We're gonna do the other side. 
Stay here and breathe. When you're ready, go to tall spine. The bottom of my foot is on the inside of my knee. I don't know if you can see that okay. Now I'm gonna go to a full figure four. Hinging forward from the bottom of my spine, pushing my chest toward my crossed over leg. Breathe. Look down. You want to keep the back of your neck open. Glance up every now and again if you need to. But look down. And come back up to tall. Take it all the way back. And release. Your chair goes over here. Last stretch before we call it a day, my friends. Hang on to the back of your chair and open your chest. Breathe or just push your hands behind you. Breathe, sitting up nice and tall, opening through the front of the body. Breathe. And release. And we are finished our hard work. So I'm gonna meet you back over there in two minutes, two seconds to recap. See you soon. Thank you again for spending a little bit of time with me today with a little bit fit. And you worked really hard. You really, really did. And don't ever say that you can't do it no matter what, no matter what. There's always a way to modify. There's always a way to start being more fit and more healthy by starting where you are, by always starting where you are. Never say you can't. Never say you can't because you can. You just did. You just did. So let's recap our fit tip. Healthy eating, not so much healthy eating, but eating well. Making sure that you're choosing food that has a lot of nutrients in it. Don't get hung up on the calories. Get hung up on how much nutrient value is in the food that you're eating. Learn how to read those food labels. And be more mindful, uh, even when you are eating, when you're eating, enjoy your food. Um, instead of reading while you eat, actually enjoy your food. A lot of the times we forget that we've eaten because we haven't paid attention when we've eaten something. So be more mindful, enjoy your food, learn how to cook. I had to learn how to cook, right? So learn how to cook the foods that you enjoy eating. Um, Make sure that you are filling your plate with good things. Don't fall into the traps. Fill with good, good things. So be well. Take care. Remember, knowledge is power. And the more you know, the more you can grow. And I will see you next time right here on A Little Bit Fit. the Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. Most people living with it don't even know they have it. I'm Alex Lifeson. My family, like many of yours, has dealt with the conditions that cause kidney disease. If you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or a family member with kidney disease, you are at risk. If you are overweight or over 50, you are at risk and certain ethnic groups are also at higher risk.